Welcome to Go Get It. This video session is completely based on the bottom up parser or the bottom up parsing technique in compiler design. In this video session, we will be seeing certain terminologies, say for example, handle, rightmost derivations, and the very basic and the important thing, the shift reduce actions associated with this parser. So handle, handle is nothing but a substring, the substring of the input string that matches on the RHS of the given grammar. So whatever grammar has been given or the RHS part, uh, the substring of that part is called as handle. Next part is in the bottom of parser, it basically uses the rightmost derivation to construct the parse tree. The rightmost derivation is nothing but with every reduce action, the Rightmost non-terminal symbol is always used in consideration. The next point is this bottom of parser is also called as shift reduce parser. We will see shortly what is shift reduce actions. So basically there are four different actions associated with bottom of parser. First is shift, second reduce, third is accept and final is error. So we'll see three examples here which will explain you the shift reduce uh, a concept. Now we'll see the examples here. Now uh, let me write down the examples first of all. The very first example what we are going to see is we have a given grammar say S A B and A derives to A and B derives to B. So uh, let us consider that the input string is AB. This is the input string. Now to accept this AB with this grammar, the compiler design will accept this AB as a uh, valid uh, string. We can considering this grammar, it will take definite, uh, it will take certain uh, set of actions. So these actions what we have seen now are shift, reduce and action, uh, I mean accept. So Let's see how it takes. So basically in the grammar we have seen that we will be uh, the parser will, will have a stack with the dollar in the last symbol that is the final or the uh, empty string I mean the uh, end of uh, stack. So uh, first of all what happens is the input string is AB. So first string this is the string will push to stack. A has been pushed. So we have different actions associated as we discussed shift and reduce basically and finally accept. Now this A has been moved to uh, stack. It counts to one shift action. Now this A can be replaced or can be reduced with the help of this capital A. So this can be reduced with capital A. So this is a reduce action. So whatever string is has been input to stack is shift action and this reduction is called as a reduce action. The next symbol is B. B has been moved to the stack. So this is again one shift action and this B can be replaced with capital B. So this is again one more reduce action. Now you can see that from bottom to top if you go a B is is uh, or A B can be reduced with the help of S. So this complete set can be reduced with the help of S. So one more reduce action. So total shift actions uh, shift action taken is two, reduce actions three, and one finally accept action. So total six actions has been taken. So in in examination uh, you will find such questions that you will be given with the. Um, this kind of uh, input string and some grammar and uh, the question will be uh, tell, uh, answer the number of shift actions or reduce actions taken place. Let us consider one more example here. We have been given a grammar S T L T as int or float and then we have L L comma ID or ID. So this is the given grammar and the uh, uh, string is int id comma id. So this is the given grammar. 
this is a comma this is a part of the uh, sorry part of the input stream so again we will consider the stack here we have stack here with dollar as the last symbol now we'll put uh, or we'll shift int first and we can see that from this grammar t so uh, we'll uh, keep track of shift and reduce actions here first shift and then we can see here that int can be reduced with t so it has been reduced with t so one more reduce action here and then we'll push id so I'll, I'll draw it again here we have t at the end uh, dollar is by default we'll consider here and then we have uh, id we'll push id and there is no uh, i guess no uh, reduction or id can be reduced so one shift action here and id can be reduced with l so we have finally l and t on the stack with two shift and two reduce action next symbol is comma so we can see here that comma uh, t l comma there is no grammar associated so compiler what it will do it will again uh, push the next uh, incoming symbol that is id so one more shift action here so but here you can see now l comma id this complete set of three symbols will make one reduce action this can be reduced with l so again we have l and t dollar is here always so l and t so finally last symbol uh, left out is uh, you can say here uh, we are left with i guess i missed one more symbol here there is one more symbol here now ah, this is semicolon and in the grammar we have here this semicolon so the last symbol uh, one more shift action will take place here that is uh, uh, that is semicolon so uh, finally we can see here that after this shift action uh, i missed somewhere i guess the uh, one more this this shift was with respect to this id and hence this complete set can be reduced with this production so one more reduce action so total 3 plus 2 5 shift and 4 plus 1 accept so total 10 actions has been taken in the form of 6 6 shift 4 reduce and 1 accept so uh, now let us consider one more example here uh, that would uh, make you the uh, concepts clear so we have been given e gives t plus e e gives t and t gives i let us consider the i plus i input symbol now uh, we have stack here shift one shift we'll push i here now we'll move t now one more reduce action now what happens compiler will get confused here now whether he is going to reduce it with this t or whether he should shift this plus symbol into the stack so here you can notice that we have a shift and a reduce both conflicting operations happening so this is nothing but sr conflict so this conflict operation is very much important in our upcoming video sessions where we will be looking into the LR parsers, uh, CLR parsers and LALR parsers. So here we will be uh, looking into the SR conflict operations which is which which will tell you whether this grammar is uh, uh, I mean uh, this grammar uh, will fall under this categories or not. So I, I hope you got the concept of SR uh, op actions and the SR conflict. Thanks for listening. You can mail your demands at demand at gogateiit.com. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Have a great day.